In this video, we'll see how to enhance the security of BitLocker by encrypting a USB drive, in this case with the ID Bridge K3000, using a certificate stored in a Gemalto ID Prime smart card. We will also use the ID Bridge K3000 to store the BitLocker recovery key in its secure partition. In the first part of this demo, we will use the Lenovo Tablet 2 and the ID Prime MD smart card in NFC mode to encrypt the USB partition of the Gemalto ID Bridge K3000 with BitLocker. The BitLocker recovery keys will also be stored in the secure data storage space of the ID Bridge K3000, which is protected by a PIN code. The ID Prime MD smart card is tapped against the NFC reader of the Lenovo tablet in order to provide access to the BitLocker certificate. Upon insertion of the ID Bridge K3000 in the USB port, Windows Explorer displays two removable drives. One of the drives, F, is a USB drive and is labeled K3000 Public. We now use the SG Core toolbox to open the private partition, which is used for secure data storage, of the ID Bridge K3000. and we enter the PIN code to unlock it. Windows Explorer now displays the private partition which is labeled E. We now turn on BitLocker to encrypt the USB public drive F. And we select the smart card option for the decryption method. Now we turn to the second part of our use case in which we show how BitLocker offers the possibility to print or to save the backup recovery key. Here we will choose Save to File and we will choose ID Bridge K3000 Private Partition. This partition is protected by a dedicated PIN code. We can select one of two encryption methods that are proposed by BitLocker. Entire Drive or Used Disk Space Only. We will choose Used Disk Space Only encryption because this is faster. Once the encryption is complete, the encrypted drive is displayed with a symbol of an open padlock which automatically locks when the USB is removed. When open, its contents can be accessed and loaded with additional documents. We can also see that the private partition contains the recovery key. Now we use the SG Core toolbox to lock the private partition and prevent any non-authorized access to the recovery key. Once ejected, the encrypted USB drive will lock itself automatically and will prevent any access to non-authorized users. In the second part of this demonstration, we will use a different device to show the portability of the BitLocker decryption mechanism using the smart card. The executive connects to a different device which is illustrated 
by the Dell Tablet Latitude 10. Once the ID Bridge K3000 is inserted, the USB drive F is locked, as illustrated by the padlock symbol. We unlock the drive using BitLocker and the private key stored in the smart card. We need now to insert the smart card that contains the BitLocker decryption key. And select Use Smart Card method proposed by BitLocker. After entering the PIN code, the USB drive K3000 public is opened and its contents can be accessed. In this video we have shown how to enhance the security of BitLocker by encrypting a USB drive, in this case the ID Bridge K3000, using a certificate stored in the Gemalto ID Prime smart card. We have also shown how the ID Bridge K3000 can be used to store the BitLocker recovery key in its secure partition. In conclusion, ExecProtect is perfectly adapted for mobile users and is also versatile since it can be used on many devices such as laptops, tablets and mobile phones.